Hi. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Cloud Storage Manager, which will let you see exactly where your Azure storage consumption is going. Trying to find out exactly how much storage you're consuming in Azure is not so straightforward, especially if you have multiple subscriptions and storage accounts. You have to jump around multiple screens and areas, and even then you don't get a holistic view. We made Cloud Storage Manager to make things simpler and clearer, so you know exactly where your storage, and therefore cost, is being consumed. Okay, let's get into it. Right from the start you can immediately see on the left-hand side all of your subscriptions, storage accounts, and containers, and of course how much storage each is consuming. On the right side you get a deeper breakdown of each area depending on the selected view. The current view is set on the storage accounts view so you can see the number of blobs, size and percentage of the parent each storage account is consuming. You can go a level deeper and select the container view to see all the containers of the currently selected view. We are currently viewing all the containers for the entire tenant, but you can specifically select a storage account to see only the containers in that storage account. From here you can see which container is consuming the most space with reference to that storage account, and in this instance it's the VHD container, which is consuming about 34 gigabytes. Let's dive a level deeper and see what's inside that container. So first let's jump to the container, and then click the blobs view tab for more information. Okay, we can see we have two blobs in there, one is consuming 21 gigabytes, and the other 13 gigabytes. But let's just take a quick step back and collapse the view to the storage account level. Okay, from here you can instantly see what each storage account is consuming, and you can of course expand the view out to get more information. You can also see how much storage you are consuming in managed disks, which is often forgotten about when considering overall storage consumption. Let's move on to the next tab which is the top 100 blobs. This view shows you the largest 100 blobs in your environment, where they live, their tier, whether that's hot, cool, or archive, and of course the size. You can select any of the items and jump to the storage account or container it resides in. The next tab is the top 10 storage accounts. This view will show you the top 10 largest storage accounts in your environment. Here you will see which storage accounts are consuming the most storage, how many blobs are in each and of course their size. The Virtual Machines tab provides you with a good overview of your machines and how much storage they are consuming, along with some other details such as power state, its size, the operating system and version, its location, how many disks the VM has attached and whether or not it's using managed or unmanaged disks, and of course how much storage it's consuming. You can also right-click on a VM to get more information, or open an RDP session if you have access. Okay, let's move on to the Overview tab. This view provides a great bird's-eye view of your environment. From here you can get a really good understanding of your tenant. You get to see how many subscriptions you have, storage accounts, containers, total number of blobs, virtual machines, and how much total storage is being consumed. Also a nice breakdown of the same details, but for each subscription down below. The chart also provides a good visual representation of how much data each subscription is consuming in comparison to the other. The charts view provides a bit more visual data to see how your environment is tracking. Here you can see that the overall environment size is on an upward trend. The blob tier count shows us that we are increasing our hot tier blob count where our cool and archive levels have remained fairly stable. So this view also provides some good insight into how your environment is tracking. The Reports tab has a number of reports you can run to get even more information if you need, or if you need to provide regular reports to management, customers, or for internal reference. There are quite a few here so I won't go into them all, but things like being able to run a report on files that haven't been accessed in the last 3, 6 or 12 months could offer you a cost saving by then moving these files to a lower access tier, whether that be cool or archive. The map is also a great way to see which regions you are using, and as you can see we are using 3 regions, West US, East US and Australia East. You can also hover over any of the locations, so you can see how many storage accounts, and how much storage you are using at that region along with how many VMs. 
The activity tab just keeps a track of any running or previously run jobs. Okay, that's a quick run through of Cloud Storage Manager and how it can help you get a clearer insight into your Azure storage consumption. If you would like to try out Cloud Storage Manager, please visit us at our website and download your free trial. Thanks for watching.